All right, guys, we're going to diagnose one of the most common issues with this truck's four-wheel drive system, and that's the automatic hubs not engaging by themselves. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now, these trucks with the automatic four-wheel drive, they will have this switch right here, so you can select four-wheel drive. Um, the very first thing you want to do is turn the key on and then turn that switch on. So what does that tell us? That tells us that the switch on the dash is working. So the next thing we need to do is check right in here. And right here, this little actuator right behind your battery, and I've actually already disconnected the vacuum lines here. But this has a connector right in the top right there. And you need to pull that connector out and make sure uh, it is getting powered. Now here we are with the meter on. And we have it set to DC, which is V with a straight line right there. And this is the connector that goes into that vacuum actuator. The ignition is on, and four-wheel drive is engaged. And it's still on DC voltage on the meter. And now you can see we have power. And that power goes to this vacuum solenoid, and it will send power appropriately, or send vacuum appropriately to the front two wheels to engage the four-wheel drive. So at this point we know for sure that this actuator is getting power. So now we're going to double check and see if the problem is in the hubs or if it's in this switch. And that's why the vacuum lines here are disconnected. So I've got right here. So when we start this up, one side should have vacuum and the other side will not have vacuum. So I've got the motor started up here and I'm doing this as a voiceover because it is loud with the engine background noise. And as you can see, I do have vacuum on that red line and no vacuum on the black line. The black line is what goes to the hubs in the front. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hook it back up to the actuator. And again, the ignition's on and four wheel drive is engaged. I'm going to go ahead and hook the connector back in, which as we've already checked out has power so now that is plugged in I should have vacuum on this uh, tube leaving the vacuum actuator however there is no vacuum there and so this actuator is definitely the problem so now what we've done is confirm that there's power going to the solenoid switch however there is not vacuum passing through when the four-wheel drive is supposed to be being activated and that is where this comes in. Now this part right here, you can get from your auto parts store. However, it is like 70 or $80. Or you can find it on Amazon for 30 bucks. So obviously I went with Amazon. But this one will replace that and then send the appropriate vacuum down to the thing, to the uh, hubs in the front. And all it is is just two little small bolts on the side of that actuator. One thing I also wanted to mention is that you can actually come in here and go to this hose down here. Now this hose is the vacuum actuation. So while the vehicle's running, if you unplug this and you put your thumb over it like this and you don't have any vacuum, then you know that the vacuum is not getting to your hubs to activate your four wheel drive. You see that just plugs in right there. So what we've done so far is confirm that we did have power and vacuum going to the switch. However, vacuum was not passing through to the hubs. So the next step is to go ahead and replace this. Luckily, all you have to do is loosen it because it will slide out and you have to fully remove that one. And they are eight millimeters. All right, as rusty as that screw was, it did come out and that one is loose. I'm just gonna Wiggle it out of there. And there we have it. Give you a good view of that. New one and old one side by side. Definitely looks like a match to me. And you can see that looks kind of like busted and broken down. So maybe that is the, uh, the whole problem. We'll see. Slide it back in and tighten it back up. 30 seconds later and it's in. 
and go ahead and hook the connector back in. There it is. And then hook the vacuum lines back on. have it all right let's check it out just gonna pop in here by the hub pull this vacuum line off and yep we do have vacuum but does that mean our hubs are gonna lock in spam that like button for me by the way so let's see hey look at that so that's the video today guys now we have vacuum going down to our hubs and they did lock in. If you are still having problems and your hubs still won't lock in, it's another problem and I'll show you that on the next video.